Tomb Raider is directed by Roy Utag and stars Alicia Vikander, Dominic West and Walton Goggins and is the third big screen adaptation of the Tomb Raider video game franchise. I, like most people, actually really like the original Angelina Jolie Tomb Raider movies. They're dumb, stupid fun, and they know exactly what they are, which is why they are so damn entertaining to watch. Take into account I haven't seen them in a while, so I'm kind of going off memory here, but from what I remember, they were stupid, they were pretty entertaining for what they were, and Angelina Jolie was a very convincing Lara Croft. And they were heavily based off the original Tomb Raider games, which were of that same kind of tone and style. Stupid, dumb fun that was also very entertaining. This movie, on the other hand, is based off of the, I think, 2013 reboot game, which took things in a much more realistic and darker tone, and you can immediately tell that from the moment this movie starts. It's going for a much more edgier, realistic style and tone, and it's a tone that does work for the most part and is fairly consistent. Okay, so I'm just going to cut to the chase, guys, and I'm going to be honest, this is probably going to be a really quick review, because I honestly don't have much to say about this movie. It's meh. This is probably the most meh movie I've seen in quite a long time. I don't think it's as terrible as people are saying it is, but that being said, I've had some people say this is, like, one of the best video game movies th that's ever been made. And I don't quite agree with that statement either. Because even though it wasn't shit, and even though it isn't good, it's just overall meh. I don't quite know what else to say. It's like the most, you know, run-of-the-mill video game movie you could possibly have. I might as well start off with the positives. Alicia Vikander is really good as Lara Croft, and she brings that realistic and edgy version of Lara Croft that is from the more recent video games to life in this movie. And I will admit, she does nail the British accent really well. I do think Ange Angelina Jolie's version was better, and I do prefer that version because it was a bit more enjoyable. But I do think her portrayal is very good. One thing I will say though, and I probably picked up more on this because I am actually British myself, is the fact that her accent did dip at a few points. It wasn't that consistent. There were a few times where it kind of sounded a bit Australian, and there were a few times where it started to dip more into an American accent. And I will admit, a British accent isn't that easy to do, if you're trying to do an authentic one, at least. And seeing that Alicia Vikander is Swedish, I can completely understand where she's coming from with that. But I just thought it was something that I picked up on as the movie progressed. Her accent wasn't that consistent, and there were a few moments where it kind of seeped into American or Australian, and it was very noticeable. Also, there were some moments in this movie that were actually pretty entertaining. There's a bike chase near the start of the movie that I thought was very well handled, and there's a scene that you've probably seen in the trailer that involves a crashed wreckage of a plane. That scene is pretty good as well. But besides some kind of cool moments and a strong lead performance from Alicia Vikander, everything else in this movie is either really predictable or incredibly bland. The plot I saw coming from a mile away, Walton Goggins was kind of good in his role as the villain, but in the end he was really forgettable as a bad guy. There is some really obvious CGI in this movie, to the point where it actually looks as if it was dragged straight out of one of the recent video games. And I don't quite know whether that's a compliment to the video games for having really good effects, or whether it's a negative to this movie for having really shit CGI. So I suppose it's a double-edged sword if you look at it that way. But either way, there is some noticeable CGI, and there are some points where it is very obvious that Alicia Vikander is on a green screen. There were also a few moments that felt as if they were pulled straight out of a video game, and I was expecting a button prompt to appear somewhere on the screen. For example, there's one point where Lara has to escape this shipwreck, and she's straight up, like, 
crawling across this thing like monkey bars. And whilst this thing was happening, I was expecting like a button prompt to appear on the screen as if it was a quick time event in a video game. Now again, you could see this as a positive, seeing that, you know, it's being faithful to the video game. But I think of it more as a negative, because I go into this movie expecting it to be, first and foremost, a movie, with the essence of the game there. I don't expect to be imagining a button prompt halfway through the movie that I feel like I have to be holding a controller of some sorts. It kind of took me out of the moment a little bit, just because I suppose I play too many video games, I suppose, but... But yeah, th there were just a couple of moments in the movie that actually made me feel as if I should be pressing a button of some sort, or be holding a controller in my hand. So, yeah, there's not really much else I can say about Tomb Raider. It's got some kind of cool moments and the acting is alright, but it's very predictable and really generic in places. I'm going to give Tomb Raider a very low 6 out of 10. I don't think I can really go any higher or any lower, because like I said, I don't think it's awful, but I don't think it's as good as people have been saying it is. And I suppose, compared to recent movies like Ratchet and Clank or Assassin's Creed, or you know, re if you compare it to the really bad video game movies, then yes, this is better than most of them. But when you think of other video game movies like the original Tomb Raider movies or Prince of Persia Sands of Time, I don't think it's as good as them. I just think it's pretty bland. So guys, that was my review of Tomb Raider. I just very quickly want to apologize for this review being as late as it is. I actually saw this movie at the start of last week, but I didn't get a chance to review this movie until now because one, I had a lot of uni work to do, and two, I was really ill the other day to the point where I lit physically couldn't move. So it's only now that I'm starting to feel a bit better. I mean, you can probably hear in my voice that I'm still not 100% you know, fit and healthy. But yeah, I was really ill and I had a lot of uni work to do at the same time. So yeah, I haven't, I didn't have the time to get this review out as soon as I wanted it to, but I am starting to feel a lot better. So I should be getting more videos out for you guys within the next few days and weeks. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye.